Hello friends, welcome to your only channel Times of Coding. Today in our series Scala Express, we will learn about how to read and write XML files in Scala. In previous session, we have learned about extractors, variable arguments, variable argument extractors and regular expression. In this session, we will learn about XML structure, how to write XML and how to read XML. XML is a form of semi-structured data. It is more structured than plain strings because it organizes the content of the data into a tree. Scala has its special support to XML that you will experience also when you generally write software that communicates over the internet. And that was the need. Scala has their rich support for XML. XML is built out of two basic elements. One is text and another one is tags. These are text and these are tags. Text is a sequence of characters and tags are written like anything here. So here I'm defining one tag and inside that tag I'm defining this text. And these tags can be nested also. And this is how we write empty text. If you're writing set of tags, you need to write here like A and then slash a if you're writing empty tags then you need to write first the tag name and then slash another important aspect to understand about tags is their attributes an attribute is a name value pair written with an equal sign in the mirror the attribute name itself is a plain unstructured text and the value is surrounded by either double quotes or single quotes if you see in this tag we are having express is equal to 3 and a string is equal to true now let's come to the point how to read the xml with scala to understand that first we need to create xml and we can create xml by serialization that means we need to transform scala object to xml first okay. so here i'm defining one abstract class called channel and this channel class will have these member variables name is started at subject motive price publish platform and we are having override div function to a string and to a string will have the value of name from this channel abstract class and then i'm creating object from this channel abstract class now you may be wondering how okay I will uh, I will solve that uh, mystery also so here we are defining abstract class and then we are defining object of this abstract class but since you know in fundamentals we cannot create the abstract class instance so this instance basically will be treated as anonymous class in okay so well TUC is equal to new channel and then we are defining all the values here now to a string we have already assigned so we don't need to define it here now new channel expression in the above example works even though the channel is an abstract class as we have discussed. This anonymous class is something which we have not discussed so far. So this is the right time and you should also understand. So now I am defining some XML into this function called to XML channel. So this function will define this structure and this structure will have one root tag called channel. And then name started at subjected for all the member function whatever we have defined in our anonymous object we will have corresponding tag here okay now it's time to call the above method to serialize our defined Scala object as XML so if you see this is a function called to XML channel and this and this function we will call on toc dot to xml channel okay so toc we have defined here as our anonymous object to xml channel we have defined here with all these xml tags and now when we call them both we will have our variable type of channel xml because we have defined channel xml name here and this will be a type of scala xml element whatever we are defining here that will be treated as lm here okay 
Now using previous method for taking XML apart, we can now write the dwell of serializer. Basically a parser which will take back your XML from that object. So here I'm defining function called from XML channel. As parameter we need to pass nodes type of TOC and this will get you channel. Channel is the abstract class which we have defined earlier. Now here also we are creating anonymous object and then we are defining all the local member functions values and that's how we take out of the XML text. So TOC was the reference to the node and name was one of the tag inside that node. If you see here inside this we have got name here which is times of coding. So that value we can retrieve here with this syntax. Now it's time to call this function. How do we call? We will call simply from XML channel and this function as argument we will pass channel XML. Now what is channel XML? It is the object which has converted into XML here if you see. So after calling this our parsed XML will be created as channel type and it will have times of coding value. Why it is printing times of coding? Because at the time of definition in to a string we have given the name and the name here is times of coding. Okay. Then here I'm trying to retrieve one of the value out of that XML. So I will retrieve subject from this past XML. So subject we have given here as a scholar language and that's what we are putting here. Now the next important point is how to save that XML. Now we have converted Scala object to XML and XML to Scala object. Now how to save that object? What we need to use is Scala.xml, XML in caps and then dot save function. In this save function, first we need to provide the name name of our XML and then we need to provide the LM type object reference here. So this channel so this channel XML is type of scala.xml LM so we can pass that object to this function and your XML will be created. Now here I'm keeping just the XML file name you can have some path also while loading or while reading the xml you need to call xml.xml.load file this is the function which will help you to read the file and channel.xml is the file name if you have stored in some drive or some location you need to give the path here okay and that value i'm assigning in load node but you can do whichever way you like Okay. So after execution, we will get this XML dot element back named load node, and this will have the same structure which we have seen earlier in channel dot XML. In theory, we have completed today content. Now it's time to do some practical. So this is what example we have seen earlier as our first example today. I'm defining is XML tags and XML text. Now let's run it. Okay, we have got rest zero by default variable from this worksheet and value is times of coding inside these a tag. The next thing we have seen is the next thing we have seen is define nested tags for XML. So that's how we define nested XML here. Inside Scala, you have got tag empty tag called express okay and you see this is the structure of scala we are expecting out after this we have seen how to define their name value pairs so that's how we are keeping express and their string as true and these name value pairs are attributes to that scala tags okay so here we have defined scala 
one attribute is express is equal to three another attribute is strings is equal to true now the next example we have seen to create object first in scala so to define the object we need a class name first and then we will create object of this class okay since it is abstract so this object will be treated as object of anonymous class now let's execute and we can very well do that name is toc and channel type and times of coding it is returning because true string is having value as name okay so our scala object is so we have got a scala object now with the help of this scala object we need to write xml and for that we need a function which can help us with the required tags so here i'm defining all the tags as channel name started at and likewise for all the local members for that particular class which is coming from this object okay so now we will call this is our abstract class definition which is having this function also so now we will call it toc is already an object of that class and to xml is the function defined in that class so we will just have a reference of this variable and then we will call it function okay so you see this statement will get us this outcome which is a type of xml and this xml is holding value as well and this value we have defined inside the anonymous class object here so we have seen how to define xml from object okay so now we will see how to convert this xml back to object for that purpose we required one definition which will take all the xml tags and will get us the object of channel type here this is the syntax we will be retrieving all the value from this xml tags one after another okay and to call this we will simply call from xml channel here and inside the channel as argument we will pass to xml channel okay let's run and you see we have got object type of channel here and this is the value why we are getting this value because at the time of defining that abstract class member functions for two string we have given name just to verify this object what we can do is we can assign in one value in one variable called first xml and this first xml can get us any text from above defined xml so in this example i will retrieve the value of subject okay and i will execute again so you see this object can get us one of the xml tag value which is scala language now let's just verify subject is scala language here now the next example we have seen how to save xml in a drive and how to read that xml from a drive so to save xml i will use this method called save and here i will keep it first xml which just now we have defined sorry first xml will not work because this we have passed for node and here we need a type of alum and this function give us type of alum so i will define this as variable called xml alum 
okay and this value we need to keep it here okay. you see that compile time error went off okay so here I'm not using any path but you can define as per your uh, requirement I will simply keep it the XML name only so let's run it okay so here we are saving the XML and then I'm trying to retrieving the XML so if you see the syntax here this is load node and this is load node after execution and here we have received whole file and this file we have stored with name called channel.xml here and the same we have retrieved while loading the file so with this example we have completed today content hope you like the content today thanks for watching happy learning